places I train my dog is over the bridge. Um, it's a pretty weird experience because you got the bridge moves and shakes. You're in high elevation and uh, this is one of the training methods I use for the dogs. I also use it for the puppies when they're young of age, when they're very young. Um, these dogs here have been battle tested across this bridge. Um, they high elevation. I did it with Lily and there goes Lily right there. Lily really doesn't like the bridge with her bad ass, but she has to do it anyway. Um, as a puppy, she had no problem with it, but now she, uh, she seems like I really don't like this shit. You know, I didn't like it, you know, but I do it anyway for you. And this is one of the things where I, I'm the alpha because I'm the one that takes your ass to the edge and gets you to do the things that you normally don't like to do. And so she has to make this bridge and she's going to make it. It's no problem. Monty has no problem with it, you know. Sapphire had no problem with it and I have to expose the puppies to it very young to keep them from being nervous dogs. Lily's whole object of crossing the bridge, she doesn't like to go across the bridge while cars are coming across it because it's vibrating. She doesn't like that. And she's fine. Good girl, Lily. Good girl, Lily. Good girl. <laughs> Yeah, it's one of the things I do with my dogs. Uh, we're uh, we just track through the forest, and um, we're all the way in Hammond, Indiana now. Ah, ah. We're all the way in Hammond, Indiana now, and um, you gotta feed a dog's instincts. Um, I have some pretty serious dogs, and uh, I feed their instincts so that. They're happy and satisfied. Lily is the kind of dog where she needs challenges. And Monty is exactly the same way. They need different challenges. And um, this is one of the challenges that became so routine for them. But I haven't been able to do it with the regularity that I normally do it with them. So we want them to be more uh, serene and calm in the pack. The puppies have to not see the mom with a very high level of aggression too much and seeing the mom with her instincts satisfied and happy it helps the puppies um, to have correct behavior so I take them on this track it's a that is great exercise for me I'm 51 years old and um, I love to walk I've walked a, a, a greater part of my life and so walking isn't a problem for me so we're having a nice time. And that's what you want the dogs to do. Good girl, Lily. When you're walking your dog off the leash, one thing a dog should do without you even being able to say anything, the dog should always know where you're at. And the dog... Will all, should be able to come to you at any point that you call them. And if you got a dog that you take off the leash and you can't do that, then you shouldn't take the dog off the leash. Um, one of the things my dogs are going to do is they're going to look back and make sure I'm okay. Lily's going to look back and make sure I'm okay. Monty's going to look back and make sure I'm okay. And we like them doing that. Good girl, Lily. Good girl. And so I tell her, good girl, when she comes back and look at Make sure I'm okay. Make sure we're on the same page. Because someone could pop up out of anywhere. And they can, you know, you can lose your dog like that. You can end up with Judge Judy about your dog biting someone. Good boy, Mott D. Good boy, Mott D. And so we do it in a pleasurable way. Good boy, good boy. Good girl, good girl. And they're nice having a nice time. Thanks, folks.